I'm here in the European Parliament and we've just spent a couple of hours with an excellent panel discussion chaired by uh, Nathan Gill, a member of the European Parliament, who has shown some extraordinary re leadership recently in driving forward what we need to do about our food supply and our nutrition. And I think, Nathan, you've had a personal experience where you've realised just how important food is. Abs absolutely. Um, I think we're all guilty of just meandering through life without realizing that there are cause and effect when we eat things down the line there's going to be an effect from that and it's usually when something drastic happens to us people have heart attacks or strokes or in my case um, I was diagnosed with diabetes and it made me really look at what I was doing and question why I was eating the things that I was eating and I realized from studying from the internet that actually I could eat healthy food that would make me healthier and so that's what I I started to do I realized that I could see tangible effects from this and now as a member of the European Parliament and having met with Dr. Asim and with other people I've realized that the advice that government in the UK is giving to people is wrong and it needs to change from the top down Right, and you were actually diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic. and Type, you type 2, and then oh, I later became insulin dependent. Yeah. Ah, right, very good. So your discovery really was, via Dr. Seam and others, um, essentially what were the major things you changed in your diet to greatly reduce your insulin requirements and greatly increase your health? Well, pretty much cutting out as many carbs as possible, and certainly sugars, you know, processed food, if you look at the ingredients, you'll be shocked to see how much sugar there is in the food that we eat. And if there's not sugar, you'll be shocked to see how much um, man-made sweetener is in there as well, aspartame, the sucralose, all these different things. So it's crucial that we actually know what it is that we're eating. But I think the pressure now needs to start coming from above to the food industry, asking them, why are you putting so much of this highly addictive sugar into the food when we have an obesity epidemic, an uh, insulin-dependent epidemic, you know, diabetes is rife. Why, why is it that the food that we eat is really poisoning us? And that's what I discovered. I went to as much healthy food as I could, natural, whole grain. If I did eat bread, I actually made it myself. I ground the wheat myself. So I knew from the beginning to the end what was in it. And I just made sure that myself and my family, we started to actually think about the food that we were eating. Right, and you have moved then, by you dropping the carbohydrates, you move to a higher healthy fat diet. So maybe some examples of the healthy fat, real food, nutritionally dense foods you eat now, more so? Well, I mean, a lot of people are afraid of eating cheese and butter. There's no need to be. You know, you can cook with butter as well. You can certainly cook with, um, you know, olive oil, all of these kind of things that for many, many years we've been told to avoid. We've been told to eat man-made margarines, which are, quite frankly, I've never done that because I've never liked the taste of it, so mm. I've managed to avoid that. But if it's natural, then eat it. And if it's a whole grain, if it's something that you can pulses, um, I've eaten a lot of lentils, things like that. And you just have to go on the internet, you can Google amazing diets. There's no need to be, you know, be constrained by time because some of this stuff does not take long to cook. Or you can buy slow cookers, you can put all the ingredients in there, you can go off to work and come back and you've got a healthy, delicious food ready for you to eat. Excellent, and great for your health. And one last question, um, did you ever get a calcium scan, the most powerful diagnostic for your arterial health? Um, no, I've never had one of those. Never had one no. of those, though. No. Okay, well, thanks very much, Nathan, and delighted to meet you. And You're it's welcome. A pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.